way back we've been friends since way back made in since way back how it's been since way back since back then can't change that we've been all right well that looked interesting i did hear that it had rap in it i don't i didn't know exactly what it was about it looks there's like there's like, rap in there huh. yeah it's in the hamilton it's like a uh modernized it's musical it's weird. musical yeah okay. it's like a musical. Hmm. i don't know exactly what it's doing it's like, like, a like i just got like i said i've already thing. gotten like three or four people that are like you need to go watch this it's really good it's like a musical and i usually don't like musicals but i like this musical <laughs> i was like all right I guess. <laughs> the only ones i'll watch is probably like uh the nightmare uh before christmas and then um not teen uh What's that one? The uh, which I didn't even know was gonna be a musical until I actually went and saw it. <laughs> but this was a while back. Uh, uh, the barber, the tw Tweeny oh, Todd. Oh, Sweeney Todd, yeah. Yeah, Tweeny Todd. The uh, yeah, I, I had no clue that. <laughs> that's what yeah, I knew me. that one was the. Uh, <laughs> but uh, was it was still interesting. Play, so. I I uh, yeah, it was originally planned. I ended up finding out, and then um, but there, I, again, that was one of those ones. Yeah, I ended up kind of liking. It was pretty good. Uh, I'm usually not a big fan of musicals. Yeah, even like all the singing in Disney movies can be off putting to me sometimes. I think the reason being is like I never feel like the singing is like natural at all it's so <laughs> exaggerated and it's like why are you talking like this we're just like in a room you and me why are you singing at me but uh besides that i mean i there, there are some good ones out there uh i'm interested to check it out it looks like it's based i don't know i i don't know much about it but well I'll check it out when i get a chance after you know a billion different shows in because they're still that was what I wanted to do was a trailer for the Umbrella Academy season two because it comes out at the end of the month, but they still don't have a trailer out. Yeah, it wasn't really a trailer. They're just which is kind of bad snippet. marketing. You know what I mean? But well, I don't know. We'll see because uh, maybe they just know that like, maybe the fans will come back for it because it was a big hype when it first came out. I mean, out. I know it that. is, but it's just that's just poor marketing. Like, there's never not a good reason to put out that your new season. And then too, out. I don't know if it's just because of all this. Uh... This COVID stuff uh, is not helping as well because I, mean, I know I'm that sure they they did help. do uh, the the actors did do like a um, it's like a live stream of some sort. I can't remember. It was like, Which, was like I mean, about a week ago. If you could do that, why not? Because a commercial is literally just a cut of film that you've yeah. already done. You know yeah. what I mean? So like, commercial is like the basic is the the hardest part of commercials used to be the money it costs to publish and promote them that used to be the big thing like putting commercials on could cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars nowadays i mean you still have the promotion aspect on like online stuff but like the actual cost of making a commercial is like minuscule compared to what it used to be so mm -hmm. I'm, i just wonder why they didn't do that one it uh it was the same for legion season two they did like no good promotion for it at all and yeah, and that one ended up being not the best of the. Of yeah, a, a lot of people of were. It was a little too mindful. I couldn't believe it got a season three. Yeah, that was kind of weird too. That they got a season, and then did they even end? I never actually finished season two. I stopped halfway through. But did it actually ever like have a conclusion, or was it there's just something kind of left out on that one on the third season? I'm still getting through it myself, <laughs> mostly because I'm just not been watching TV shows lately. Like I still have to mm -hmm. finish The Gifted. Yeah, I remember I watching the Gift of the a while back. Great. I liked it. I loved that one. I remember when that came out. I, I yeah, my, my dad that actually weekly. watches that one. He was really sad that it got stopped. Oh, did they finally cancel oh, it? Yeah. I thought they said they were supposed to do another season. I heard they, they got They did too, renewed. but that was it. Hmm, After okay. two seasons, they stopped it. Um, so. Which was fine. I mean, it was, a good, it was a good series. It wasn't the best or anything but it was good i just thought it did a good job of in capturing like what the mutants are all about you know yeah and... i agree that they were like on the run constantly fighting against the government kind of stuff it was very uh interesting to take a look at it I, I thought it was cool because i feel like that was the first show coming after like in humans where marvel was like all right well we tried to put all our eggs in the inhumans basket and we kind of screwed up <laughs> so we're gonna go back to putting all, all of our eggs back in spider-man and the x-men right. which, which i get um speaking well, of have we heard anything about these movies coming out like 
Well, so they well Mulan was supposed to come out next next week, but then you know everything got shut down once again. Uh, so again, yes, the mo which... movie theaters are now uh, was supposed to open up again July fifteenth, and those also got pushed back. Also, Disneyland or something was also supposed to be opening up again July fifteenth, and that also got closed down again, and that has not gotten another uh, reopening day again. Um, so yeah, I'm not too sure when <laughs> we're gonna see. Uh, movies really coming out just yet still here. Um, even the same thing for Bill and Ted. I think that got pushed back even after it got pushed up a week ahead. So yes, could, which we know, talked get, about. Yeah, get out and you know out the you know, done with and and plus you know there was nothing showing at the time, so they're like, okay, well I guess we just might as well right. Yeah, let's push the next Bill week. and Ted out so that it's got um, its own but time. Now, but now, now, now that the news that the theaters are having to shut down again is now having to shut down movies again. <laughs> <laughs> yep, which um, which is sad because we know that in other places around the world that they're opening up. Yeah, um, that they're reopening. So I mean, and into other it. than that, I mean, we'll we'll see what comes out still because yeah, well, I'm, I'm still... have we heard anything about like in home releases? I thought like New Mutants. Was supposed uh, to get the release. next one that was supposed to come out was uh, for kids at least was the uh, SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Is getting another one. Yeah, you didn't see the new one? No, I didn't see that he It actually even shows them with uh, Patrick and, uh, and SpongeBob as little kids and as Boy Scouts. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, yeah, you have to look it up. Yeah, I can't uh, believe I'm, that uh, series is still going. You know, I think what happened was that they were they were getting closer to the, you know, to the movie. Well, not to the movie, but like uh, to the new year. And I think they were starting to push out more marketing towards it. But then all this happened. And I think that really stopped a lot of it just showing it on tv because again I, I did see a few few uh commercials of it at the beginning of the year and then they kind of just stopped um, i feel like they might then, have just stopped doing ad campaigns and shit yeah and then general, which... um and then now uh i just got heard yeah like i said they're releasing it to home video i don't think they gave it a release day yet but uh probably here soon i'm gonna guess i want to check now let's see what um, but I haven't heard anything else so far. Um, I know that um, Walmart's trying to do uh, drive-in theaters for the yeah, parking lot. Yeah, I lots. saw that. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, did you hear the big, big, big news, though, about uh, Dark Horse and Alien and Predator? Yeah, I did hear the, the sell. Which I kind of knew was going to happen already. I was kind of expecting it to happen. I knew it was going to be, like I said, because they did the same thing with Star Wars. You know, they they took it from, I think it was with Dark Horse again. And then they took it from them and then, yep, made it under one umbrella. Which, I mean, makes sense because you don't want to have a competitor making your, your stuff. I mean, and it kind of just sucks, though, because it's like... Well, Mar well, Disney, are you really going to do anything with... Uh, I hope they do some cool stuff with... Dude, they did uh, with Like in the Star movies, Wars. at least. Uh, movies, I'm I, not sure. I, I, Comic-wise, I mean... Comics, I think, would be cool because... I mean, Marvel they... did really good with Star Wars. Like, pretty much, like, probably 8 out of 10 star of the yeah, Star Wars series pretty good. were really good. Yeah, no, they've good. been really good. There were um, only a couple so that I, I couldn't read. I am kind of excited. I, You know what I'm really excited for is the artwork that's going to come with it because... All right, they Dark Horse much had some wider... cool... They yeah, they had some big pen. talent. Yeah. yeah, they have bigger talent for sure. Even, there, even so. beyond bigger, just having a, that variety of talent, you know, yeah. to to choose and help from, such as like Alex Ross and stuff. Not well, even David like, Finch's promo art that they released for it. Oh my yeah. gosh, the one with the Predator and the Iron Man helmet. I was like, oh my gosh. Dude, that's David what Finch. I'm looking forward to is because that's what DC is doing better than Marvel is doing with its side titles. In my opinion, is it's taking those liberties of saying like. Yeah, we own both of these titles. Why not put Yosemite Sam yeah. and uh, Jonah Hex together? Because and we those can. are cool. Those and, are fun and you don't have to reads. do it I like all those. the time or incorporate. Like the only instance I would say where Marvel did a good job, kind of and kind of not, was Conan when they brought in Conan. I like the first. I like Jason Aaron's like little run of it at like the first twelve issues. I have not read Jim Zub's uh, run yet. I, I mean, he, I even beyond his individual run, I meant but, like how they incorporate him. With oh, you mean just like yeah. him being in the uh, yeah, just little things here and there. Yep. Um, it, it wasn't necessarily it was, perfect, but it was good. Yeah. Um, I did read that the well now that you brought up Conan, I did read his um those other little side stories that came out with like the Serpent Crown. Yeah, and, they were interesting. Um, 
there was another one that was called Serpent Something. <laughs> yeah, he did a whole thing around that side run, which was interesting. I mean, so, he has a bunch are, of little good. series. That's why Conan's interesting, is he does like, yeah. six chap, six book but, game series. You know what I mean? I, like, I mean, hey. we'll, we'll see. Uh, it's just going to suck. It's going to take so long that we won't see no Alien versus Predator stuff until next year. Most so. likely, yeah. But it's okay. At least, hopefully, uh, I think they're still going to let them at least finish out the books that Dark Horse does have because they still had... Um, the original screenplay of the Predator is supposed to be uh, coming out in comic form. I do remember then, us talking about that one. Then they have the same thing. The original screenplay for the original Alien movie was supposed to come out too as well in comic form. Okay. Um, so I'm, I was kind of excited to read those. It's I mean, I'm see, excited you know, to see how they're different. You know what I mean? Cause yeah, that's Obviously, it. they're going to be some differences. Whatever they might be, we're not sure, but... Yeah, uh, it's just cool just to check it out. Yeah, and, just and see, maybe it was worse, maybe it was better. You know, who knows? So and yeah, I I, would, uh, I hope that they come up with those because I think, oh, and then they still have to finish their um their Predators two um they have like another comic called just Predators and it's called Hunter or something yeah and yeah they have to I've finish that around. one out that one's not done yet either and I think they had something even planned another issue of Predators but we'll see now what's gonna happen with that now because uh. That got shut down. I know that they were supposed to do more alien stuff too, but I don't know if you heard the guy who was writing the books for those ones that were actually really good so far. It was the Alien Defiance and then the Alien Resistance ones that came out a few years back. Uh, I think um, I might have read one of those. His name was Brian Stoke. No, was it Brian Stoke? I can't remember his name exactly. Brian Wood or something like that. Something like that. Anyways, um, there was allegations, and I think they were true, that, um, that he was like a uh, – being uh, se- like sexually assaulting women or something in the mm. office or so- I can't remember along those lines somewhere around there it wasn't uh but uh anyways um you know Dark Horse didn't like it so then they ended up canceling his uh end running book that was just going on and I was fin- uh, reading that too and that one just got finished and that one's no longer going to happen he had like this big old kind of world going on and i liked it like said it was good he did some cool android stuff with the one of them kind of becoming sentient kind of almost where he was doing his own thing and didn't follow the orders of his uh wayland yutani company and all that stuff and yeah there was some there was some cool stuff i I did enjoy it um i think amanda ripley was even in it he was expanding more on that with like his uh Ellen Ripley's daughter and everything. So oh, I do remember that. One. I I did mm-hmm. read that one. I remember didn't know that there was, was that other chick who kind of had the busted spine, and they had to put a implant or something that she, she could walk again. It was a Marine Corps uh, lady. I can't remember her name either. Yeah, there was a lot of interesting stuff they did for those ones. That but it was the cool. inside build was always interesting and yeah. You know, I mean, really cool. I I did love Dark Horse for what they did. You know, they did bring a lot of more mythos to the alien world. They brought more different types of aliens to the world yeah. and different predators to the world. And um, I mean, that's cool. It's uh, just you know, I think how many years? Thirty-five years of publishing of them. I think they said. Man, it's been a long time. So I remember yeah, the, that's... some of the original Dark Horse comics I read were Alien and Predator comics. So <laughs> yeah, I have um, that's I got little, like the original okay. trade, well not original, but I got the trade pack uh paperback. And it's like a little mini comic form, but it's um, I got in a loot crate, and it's the original Aliens uh comic book from Dark Horse where they kind of expanded more from the Aliens movie on the second one. Yeah. Um. So I, I haven't actually <laughs> read it actually. <laughs> it's still on the shelf. I just. I have not gotten the time to check it out. It's tough, man. I understand. Like I said, I've been uh, doing those reaction series, so like trying to catch up with all the anime gets tough. I've seen and read most of them, which also like it helps a bit, so I don't have to go. It's like, ah, oh, I'm not going to watch Bleach, and I'm not going to watch One Piece or this and that, because I've already watched them, so there's no point. Yeah. But like, I uh, just started like Mob Psycho 100. Which I haven't oh, read. Oh, yeah. Or seen. Um, I heard people like that one a lot. I heard Which it, is so it's... funny to me, because if I had to like compare it to anything mm-hmm. uh it would be one punch man i also think yeah the art that's kind of what art. i that's kind of what i think it is too because well what's weird to me is like when i first seen like just the title and then the characters i didn't you know i didn't really take it serious because i thought it was like this detective kind of like weird it, like it, I don't know. It, yeah i didn't really know i kind of got the gist later when they started like putting him around and stuff of what he yeah could do. Well, but before well, then I, I was just a... like, I have no clue what this guy does. Yeah, is. yeah, yeah. And then, but then I seen a video of uh, some like the action scenes, and yeah. like it was like an end kind of boss, and I was like, 
oh my gosh, this this went from that to like this now. It goes <laughs> like, pretty okay. quick, honestly. It's All right. and that's why I say that it's very much like that one punch that I even actually think that the author might be the same person. Um, I think they are because it even looks like the same. Uh, it's the art same, style yeah, to me. art head style that he uses. That's the other reason I was able to tell is the characters all look ridiculous. <laughs> oh, just crazy. So... But it's funny to me that uh, the people that I know that don't like One Punch Man like that. So it's huh. very like it's got some new. It mu- it has some nuances. You know what I mean? Okay. Where it's not exactly the same. There's it's it's really more of a. Uh, kind of like comedy thing as opposed to like oh there's like action and stakes it's more like ah uh, yeah slice of life shown in comedy kind of in the realm of like right. Tama or one punch or overlord or mm-hmm. something where it's like i mean you're in this action adventure world but you really don't have any uh sense of danger you never feel <laughs> right. like the protagonist is in trouble mm-hmm. at least so far and i'm like six episodes in for the first season okay so. There's only all two right, seasons right. of thirteen episodes. <laughs> so Oh well, only thirteen episodes, huh? That they usually do twenty three, twenty four episodes mm, on well usually. It just what depends on, on what sometimes the, what the shonen is. I feel like most of them actually go by thirteens or so this time this okay. time around. Only big series like uh not big, but bigger series kinda of like Black Clover or something. Or if they're doing like okay. singles, so like a comic got kill which only had one season got mm-hmm. it's 24 episodes but even for like netflix i'm thinking like baki and Tangan ashura which we recently came out well not recently but within the last year or two they've been releasing okay. those and they released in about 13 episode format mm. which is interesting i feel like it does an okay split and sometimes they don't pace it well but i once again, I think that 10 to 13 episode run is basically Netflix standard. And then you have TV yeah. standard, which is like 20 something episodes per season. Okay. All right. Well, uh, now that we're talking about TV, um, Beavis and Butthead, huh? Are oh, wow. I forgot that that was coming. That's, I mean, dude, Mike Judge is never going to let that die. <laughs> You're Bro, that's never gonna let it die. It's like you, you it's mean, like Beavis and Butthead. It's like King life. of the Hill. Nobody even it's knows what it is anymore. <laughs> And I, you know, King of the Hill is one of those shows is like, I don't know why, but like, I, it would just be on the TV and you just like got sucked right into it. And you're just like, wow, bro, this is, hmm. This is stupid. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this show, there's a show like this and I can't believe I'm watching it right now. And yeah, I, can't stop I really watching do feel it. like that was the way you were just like, you couldn't believe you were watching King of the Hill. You're like, God damn it, Bobby. I think it's just, yeah. Maybe it that, it yeah. really is this thing. Well, the beginning season Yo. was really stupid, stupid. But then along the lines, they kind of took it. I mean, tried it got better over time. Serious. Like most ser- well, some series do. But, like, it just never was of quality of, like, some of those other yeah. animated shows like well, The Simpsons. No, or... no, 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 no. But, yeah, they like they did try to take some seriousness into it at one point. Like with uh, oh, Dar- I mean, was it Darlene and remember her. Uh, they did a bunch of her stuff. Whole... And... Yeah, they did a couple of things. So they – that's – I don't know. It was just one of those shows I, I like guess that's... I couldn't just stop watching. The characters are cool. Some of them were just a little ridiculous. I, I did like some not. of them that were stupid like um, – what's his name? Uh, Bo- Boomhauer. Boomhauer is uh, cool. Uh, I like – Even Dale is stupid. Dale I like to just fun. listen to Dale's Dale freaking – his, his damn – Government's gonna there's... tap your phones, man. So, I mean, those. It was just one of those things. Was like, I don't know. I, I kind of enjoyed it. Just as it was. It was, it was very pretty good. It was. It was an. It had a. Characters... It wasn't my favorite show. I'm not no. gonna be like, oh guys, you need to watch King I've, of the yeah, Hill. Yeah, right I've never now. like sat and watched King of the Hill. You know what I mean? I, you, you always I... show up and it's like, oh, King of the Hill's on. Eh, well, I'll just I'll watch, watch it. Yeah, it's like, there's nothing else on, I guess. <laughs> Granted, this was uh, back when there was nothing else on, whereas now there's just everything at all times access, so. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, rough, though, man. I, that... I'm, uh, I mean, I'm kind of excited for some Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead I, I, like, were... I like Beavis and Butthead. I did, they but... did try to bring him back, remember, a few years back. and They did, but it didn't do well at all. That's why I'm I like, don't think they do... meant for it to be full, though, right? I think it was just like a limited time thing, I think, they, right, at that they time. They did, but I just still think that the reason they did that was to test the waters and that they just weren't getting the... Like you said, well, the Beavis when I, and Butthead I think I tried watching it, and I don't think it, it felt the same to me, so... I don't know. I feel Boondocks like be... is supposed to come back too Again, on HBO which Max. Crazy, which I've heard a lot of people complain about the newer seasons that 
Okay. Yeah, because it was, I guess Aaron was. Yeah, he wasn't uh, involved in the creation. Involved, but he's supposed to be involved in the new one now with HBO. See, I hate that. You can't like go back and forth because then you fuck up continuity and like it's it's kind well, of like well. Let's see if they even if they count that one. Right? <laughs> yeah, they might like, skip that it. That never happened. But the Terminator did that same shit too. I think Halloween too. Now that they did about GT it. Just like, like that, right? Dragon Ball GT. They were just like. Happened. Actually, they've put it in a place where GT kind of does. It's kind of just its own alternate. Yeah, it's thing, very yeah. weird how they put that because they never like the where Super is placed is still in a place that technically they could have GT in canon, but yeah. they've already made decisions and like changes to some of the storyline. Kind of doesn't make sense now. Yeah, at, that at this you would point. be like, like right, Super well, Saiyan one, where is Super Saiyan God had gone? Where are all the gods in, in GT? Unless like somehow they like destroy them. All. They were trying to go more cosmic on the ne- on the next one. Which I mean, was su- which was cool. cool. I mean, and fine. Same with Super going. You know, the whole deific, you know, God thing, but in multiverse yeah. theory. But mm-hmm. I feel like it was one of those things where. the the continuity of full shows one gt was always considered a travesty i mean let's be honest it has i mean never there was there been... was a few episodes i did like i did oh, like I mean, the baby it's arc not that it didn't have the baby its, arc was okay stuff. but like i said yeah. there was some things i was not pleased with was the, the, the overall of dragon making ball goku a child again yeah, and... the overall dragon ball community was not happy about it like no that, that I, mean, I think at the time I was a kid, I enjoyed it. But uh, then, you I know. was all right with it. It was okay, but it just didn't live up one to the quality and like direction. I felt like a lot of mm-hmm. uh, the thing. The other thing being is we'd already discussed in like the overall Dragon Ball plot stuff that originally Toriyama had wanted to switch off to Gohan back during the Cell Saga, and then decided against it, which kind of threw off the whole flow of Dragon Ball Z, because that was really the whole progression. That was kind of weird. I always thought that was... that was That's one of his bigger mistakes. Because it's, why it's did actually, they... It's one of the reasons that uh, Dragon Ball Z is no was no longer like my number one, unfortunately. I love Dragon Ball Z, but... And I, I was telling uh, Vinny the other day, I was like, you know, your first is almost... is It very much is hard to shake off your first being your best anime, or like, man, because it's mm-hmm. like nostalgia and things... But like, man, I can't for Dragon Ball Z because the farther away you get from that area of nostalgia and the reasons, the more you see it as like a product of its time. And then even taking out that, Akira still did make a couple mistakes. He forgot about launch. He made most of the side characters irrelevant. You know. Well, what I mean? remember that lady chick, right? The one that was yeah. The... That's that's launch. The... Oh, is that launch? Okay, yeah, yeah. that's launch. Yeah, see, I don't that. even know the name because I just what, people, it was somebody. Yeah, that people forgot showed. about her. That's the funny thing is like, you know, it, you know, I talk shit, but most people forgot about launch anyway. So it wasn't like so, he was the only one, but it was just yeah. funny because he was, he was the one, you know what I mean, who made the characters. So he should definitely mm-hmm. probably remember them. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, get it. I just like you said, it is weird, you know, with the Cell Saga with Gohan. You know, they they could have went more bigger with him, and then they almost did because they even came out with that movie. Remember, was it the BoJack movie? Yeah, which, which was, was not even a good movie either, honestly. It was alright. I liked it. I liked it, the ending scene. It was a. Uh, I think it was just like again, I was a child, and I just. Oh yeah, like, yeah. I, I mean, the child <laughs> scenes are always things, but as a as so, a as a Dragon Ball Z movie, it was it was okay. Dragon Ball Z movies aren't usually the best. They're okay most of the time. A well, I heard too, good. most of the time, they're not always canon either. No, they're That's not. what he always says. Most of them are not, I'd say. Um, Probably like half of them are canon, if even. All the Garlic yeah. Jr. stuff's not canon. I know the one with the... I, you know the one I haven't seen is the the one with Vegeta's brother, which I heard I actually to be have canon. not seen that one either, and it, it is just been confirmed canon when Because they mentioned, they mentioned it in yeah, Super. Yeah, they mentioned it in Super. There's a couple that are canon, but the ones that aren't canon are like the one that's from the video game, which is uh, Rise of the Saiyans. Oh, the, that new something. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen I don't that remember. one. They yeah. remade it. It's actually an old one from the '90s. Um, but uh, well, that you know, they they do their thing, and I, I I like it. It's just once again that they're they obviously you know had some stuff that it, I felt like could have gone better, I and mean, that's for most stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like there's very many like really perfect seasons or series out there most of them have some stuff that i don't like or like i feel like is not the best done or doesn't make sense but 
you know, Dragon Ball Z is still good. It's just not like I feel like there's a pedestal that all these like old school ones get placed on sometimes, where it's mm-hmm. like Dragon Ball Z up here, and I was like, I mean, it's good, it's really good, but like relatively speaking, like Roni Kenshin's probably better than Dragon Ball Z as a series. Um, maybe, but you're not gonna have a lot of people that like like you know samurai fighting right and that's my thing is like because of because of the nostalgia and the the history of dragon ball z that one which even at this point you could argue that naruto has really taken that place in america at least of like being the most one of the more popular more known among kids Mm -hmm. and i still i still have never watched it (laughs) it's all right it's it's fine it's probably like i just feel like it's probably got better writing than dragon ball z but Man, that's probably why I feel like I don't want to watch it because it just feels like I don't know, just like a Dragon Ball Z kind of knockoff, but just with ninjas instead. But I mean, I'm pretty sure there's just, a lot of difference to it. Yeah, I mean, it, at the end of the day, uh, and I was telling the, the little homie Vinny this the other day because I wanted to get him to start watching these other anime because he keeps rewatching like these ones I've shown, and I'm like, dude, they're good, but like, why aren't you watching other animes? But these are so good. I was like, dude, I showed you these. Why would you not check out these other ones? I'm telling you. Like, I was mm-hmm. the one who showed you all these anime. Why would you think these other anime that I'm showing you are not as good as the ones I've showed you? Like, the one I want him to see is, like, the old school uh, basic. And that's what I was going to men- why I mentioned it, is Fist of the North Star, which is where... Oh, I've heard that one before. Oh, yeah. Well, to, to explain it, Dragon Ball Z stole all its shit from Fist of the North Star. Okay. Yeah, Fist of the North Star predates DBZ, and all of the the classic shonen tropes of like you're already dead but you're a small guy the 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 screaming attacks and the long-winded like Mm -hmm. uh things those all come from fist of the north star Hmm. uh they're the power beams i can't i think even power beams are in fist of the north star dragon ball z takes it up a level but it, it was always one of those ones where, like, when you talk to old school shonen, Fist of the North Star is, like, the original American translated uh, anime. And I don't even think it was a series. I think it was, like, a movie. But huh. I can't. Yeah, that sounds like... I, I think it was a movie. I yeah, that's... I don't remember if it has a series or not. Let's double check this. Um... does have a uh series yes and so this is why i say it's older it's serialized from 83 to 88 huh, okay and oh that's quite a while it has oh it has two anime television series produced by toei which uh came out on fuji tv from 84 to 88 okay it had 152 episodes so, like, this is, like, the old school crazy, you know what I mean, shonen originator in many ways. Mm-hmm. And that's not to say that it's in, in any way better than DBZ. I don't believe that at all. In fact, DBZ is probably better written than Fist of the North Star. And probably better executed just based on the time. I mean, that voice acting, you know, let's not even get started on that. But... uh in general, it's it's just one of those ones that I want him to check out. And I'm like, you gotta check this out for at least nostalgia's sake. Like, to see where all this <laughs> stuff came from of, like, uh, tropes for Japanese anime and manga. Like, it's it's just a nice thing to have and, like, to see where the history grows. Mm-hmm. And then just telling him other good series that have come out, like Overlord or... Uh... Yeah, I haven't checked out for Overlord yet, just that's, yet either. That's good. Once again, it's... it's similar in concept but not execution is one punch and when i say concept just in the sense that you don't feel a whole sense of like uh danger for the main character okay it's more about the development of the side characters in those series i feel like where you have this Mm -hmm. like one they've actually it's funny because uh dragon ball z did that when they switched to super where you have like Beerus, right? Who is the strongest character, etc. And then you have now Vegeta and Goku, who are the main characters, but they're not the strongest characters. They're now mm-hmm. like side characters to Beerus in a way that you see 
progress and like build up. So in a way, it's kind of like that, that you're just more seeing the development of their personalities and their things. And in, and because of that, it's like comedy. It's not very like okay. serious. Most of the time, it does have serious, cool stuff. And it, it's definitely more serious than One Punch Man. Like it, it deals with more serious things. Mm-hmm. But it, once again, it's very tough for me to explain because it's just like you just have this sense of like, all right, the main character has like no threats. It's like whatever. You know, we're, we're watching to have fun, not to be like, uh, after a goal or like protect, you know, protecting the planet or anything like shown any where it's like, yeah, we're the good guys and we're out to save the world. Yeah, it's not hmm. like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, I was going to say, too, did you hear about Fallout um, supposed to be getting a TV show with Amazon I, Prime? Yeah, Home? I heard that. I don't know how, what they're really going to even do for that. They came out with a teaser even for it. So, like, it, it even says Amazon Prime. Uh, no, I mean, I'm the... sure they're going to do oh, it. Oh, but I'm just. Know... Yeah, I know what you mean. What I mean, gonna... I've never played the games myself. I've yeah, seen, same. You know, I, I know the, the gist of I've... what it's about. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Which I know the is last cool. Game was what? terrible <laughs> yeah, oh, i mean it was awful which is why i'm wondering right. how they're even able to finance this but my my thing is like once again are you doing you're just going to do another post-apocalyptic show what's what's the catch you know what i mean is it just the I mean, catch that it's fall, fall I out so it'd be cool to see like because i have seen some of the monsters in the in the game would be kind of like, cool I mean, to see that and then, i don't know we'll see i have no stuff. clue what they're gonna right do. Never well, the game. we won't I, know I until know it comes whole... out you know that's the problem um and then I'm also excited for that. Have you seen that H- HBO's Lovecraft uh, Country yet? No, I think you were telling me about it. Someone was check out me the about trailer. It. You should really check it out. It's supposed to drop though this August 16th, but it looks really good. Um, it's actually even produced by J.J. Abrams and um, I believe uh, jo- yeah Jordan Peele is. Okay. Oh, those are sorry, they're producers. They're executive producers. Okay. Uh, Misha Green and Jordan Peele and J.J. Abrams. But still, I mean, to get those three together, like, mm, I wonder what they're going to Right, what they're going to do with it. I mean, it sounds interesting. I think we talked about it where it was like a town where the Lovecraft horrors come to life or something. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like, the, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. I mean, so it's kind of should... on the nose. It sounds good. I mean, there's, I still have to go check out a couple things. Like, I was supposed to go check out Twilight Zone still from Jordan Peele since he had Yeah, I still want to check it out too, but it's it's only exclusive to the CBS still, right? I don't remember. But that that was one of the reasons right that I hadn't seen it, but I don't know if it's changed yet because I yeah, it was I one of those ones where I went and I was like, all right, I want to watch it, and I was like, oh, it's on its own exclusive. Yeah, plan. I yeah, when I first That's heard about it coming out, they first like said it like was they've they've CBS, got to get so their like, platform ah. shit together, dude. Like they're there it's just ridiculous at this point with how many different streaming services of different things there are it's like it sucks you really got to pick now and choose which one's like gonna right be yeah catered and, to you and a lot i feel like a lot of these ones aren't going to be able to stay up because to in order to provide a decent amount of content that they're pushing they need consistent viewers but they don't have enough of a variety of top like stuff so like personally like i'm doing crunchy roll right now and i really want to keep doing it but i probably have to stop just because it's too expensive just for anime and mm-hmm. even then i'm not getting all of the anime i still have to get anything funimation somewhere else basically yeah that's it's the only cool one i for pay Mango. for right now it's just funimation <laughs> yeah and uh, uh man it's just like so rough because then i got netflix and hulu and disney it's like dude you're gonna end up paying like a hundred dollars yeah. a month in subscriptions it's like no nah, i'm just not gonna watch yeah this. i have um yeah i have netflix we have hulu we have and i only do hulu because they got me because they're like if you cancel now you're and if you want to come back to be again you'll pay the eight dollar fee because right now i'm only paying four dollars a month oh I'm yeah like, so you sons of bitches you got me stuck in this what, now. <laughs> what? did you package it with uh disney Plus? Uh, no i didn't it's it's no it's just a regular it's, you should it's be able to call ad. them and get it packaged up it might be cheaper I, yeah we did we'll that see. yeah to look we into had, it because uh, we had hulu and we're getting Disney Plus, and we had ESPN Plus, so it was a no-brainer because the I have to check that out. Yeah, I wanted to do do that, but then too, with thing what I did with Disney Plus is we signed for, up for the the three-year deal, which okay. was like a disc discount at the time. So I don't know how they'll 
how that worked that day, right. you know. Hopefully so. they'd be nice enough to like kind of like somehow put it together, but hey, you never know, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Netflix, um, we got kind of a good deal. Um, I think we only end up paying four dollars a month with that because T-Mobile gets us a a deal as if we add it to our plan. Nice. Um, so that's cool. Um, then yeah, there's Amazon Prime, which I mean I do use because I do order stuff from them. But then there's some sne- things I do watch on there, like I got to watch Knives Out from the, uh, them the other night. Um, which ended up being a pretty good movie. Nice. Um, and then they do have some exclusives that are pretty cool here and there. I think they were the one that were doing. No, it wasn't them, was it? The Tick. Yeah, they do. They do the a tick. couple. They do the Tick. They did that. I was one so sad with, that they canceled uh, that one. It was really sad. Yeah, it just doesn't it have good. the base that it, it was... used to have. Yeah, I mean, it was cool. I mean, I like the main actors, the Tick, uh, oh, yeah. the guy uh, from the Unfortunate Events, and all that. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I, it, I it was pretty cool. I liked it at the time. It was uh, the the characters are kind of wacky, <laughs> which is what they was and always was. It was kind of like a parody on superheroes. And, oh yeah. Um, I I was just a little bummed out that one got canceled. But yeah, again, uh, we pay for that one too. Um, yeah, like I said, we do we do a lot. On, uh, and in HBO, we only get free because um, we have Xfinity with HBO, so they gave that to us. Nice. So that ended up well, being good. Probably, so I've been just checking out some free. stuff on there. Uh, Looney Tunes has actually been uh, not too bad. We've been watching Looney Tunes I, on the HBO. I'm gonna, the only thing I'll probably use my HBO for is to watch the Snyder Cut and make fun of it. Yeah, I, that, I want to check it out. Dude, yeah, they just they keep posting other... stuff where people are like, is it going to have this? It's like, it's going to have all the stuff you guys want. It's still going to suck somehow. I'm gonna laugh. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with I that. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I want it to happen that way because it would be the funniest thing in the world. To have all of that bitching and all of that moaning, and then it gets out and it's like, yeah, this the is thing just is, as garbage. Like, as if he BS. ends up being good, though, and it ends up being the thing that they all wanted, and the fans are gonna. The like, thing is, it, it doesn't matter what the, he puts out; it's gonna be that they're just writing for yeah. him. Yeah. So whatever comes yeah. out, they're gonna be like, "That's what we wanted. That it was great, just like they were for Batman versus Superman," which yeah, which is just didn't do well monetarily. Like it didn't do well <laughs> in the media. Most of the money it made was from the original like hype. And then the reviews got shit on, the people watching it shit on it. It was it was a bad look. And the people who still um, ride and watch for it are just so funny to me. Let's see here. They have um, a couple other things that are original, like the Adventure Time BMO series. <laughs> Amazon or HBO? Um, this is, sorry, HBO. Yeah, I thought they were doing the Adventure Time Distant Lands. They're supposed to, but I guess they came out with this too as well. This oh, this is it. Huh. This is Distance Land. It's called B. Uh, yeah, but it's this B. It's about Bemo. Huh. It's all about Bemo. This one's it's episode space. one so far. I wouldn't um, imagine they're very far. I mean, they said that I, from the people I heard that they're supposed to have a decent collection. I mean, HBO has a good collection of properties. Yeah, they have a pretty good, pretty good stuff here. Um, what else do they have here? They have this um things that we would check out. Doom Patrol came over to HBO. Yeah, I'm uh, waiting pretty much. For that's Harley the Quinn other thing is over. DCEU moved all its stuff to HBO Max. So are they giving up yeah. on DCEU? Because like, I mean, it seems like it's gonna. Be, I mean, they probably won't. What they'll probably do is, I uh, would, hopefully, I I hope what they'll do is they'll just do it marvel's doing with their unlimited app and just say fuck it we'll just we'll just start putting all our books on i'd be all right if they switch that and and put the price down a bit but they need to start putting up all their books like marvel's well that's what i'm saying no yeah they need to start doing that and not taking them down right because marvel doesn't like as far as I yeah, understand, once it's it, you up, can it's stay. usually up. I haven't ever seen them take it. Yeah, I've never down. not been able to go back. Granted, I I stepped away from there a while back because I couldn't wait. Yeah, me six too. Months, but, but but yeah, so that's the I, thing. I, six months was just too much for me. I was like, ah, uh, do a week, do a month, do something less than six months to read a new comic. Uh, but yeah, I know. I it. That's it was just thing. a lot, man. It was a lot. Um, it was, and then it was so. Too much uh, to wait. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> and the not too late show with Elmo. I did hear about that one which so so silly yeah well I mean, we haven't checked it out we'll check it out see so just watch it with isaiah we'll see and then yeah, sure again the looney great. tunes has been pretty good it's uh it's still got it's really got that old school feel to it you know the crazy Singing, cartoonish yeah. the only cartoons can get away with danger kind of this stuff the right. only thing i just cannot understand is like okay i know we're all about no guns and everything mm. but like they took away elmer fudd's gun right but yet, through the whole show, like these guys are getting like 
like messed up badly. Like they're getting blown up. They're getting smashed on. They're getting uh, ripped. It's like, gun cut violence, in half. man. Getting... It's got. It's, it's all like... about gun violence. And I'm like, you guys, you kept, you know, you're keeping it really like very. I mean, I it's understand still very violent. Too. That's it's cool with me, like, but like. Yeah. Like really, you guys can just leave the gun in there. Like, I don't know, just, man. Just leave I, it's, the gun. It's the touchiness of sensitive people out there. Like, and I get it because, like, you gotta be politically correct. I refuse to be, but most people have to be politically correct. So and, yeah, I just thought yeah. that was kind of weird. I was like, really, okay. really, guys, come on. Even I don't know. It is rough. <sighs> it just uh, doesn't feel like Elmer Fudd without his, his gun. gun. <laughs> I feel like that would be because you can't for... do the hunting height. I think yeah. They how are you just like? How are you even gonna it. do that? They tried to do it, but it wasn't. I have it didn't to go rewatch it. Yeah. It didn't work very well. I'm I'm yeah. sure it wouldn't. There's no gun. I mean, what is he so, hunting him with us? Now sling? and then, like the last episode with him was where he was like in the desert and like okay. he had like this. Not, I don't know why Elmer had Elmer Fudd had the, like a nice fancy ass house with a nice swimming pool okay. in the middle of the desert. I mean, sometimes they do to comedy stuff like that, but I do miss yeah, the old do. ones that were in character. You know what I mean? The old yeah, 50s ones just... were in character. Um, but uh, other but... than that, I mean, it's good. It's been a pretty cool show. I did like it. The The acting's pretty, uh, sorry, voice acting's pretty pretty square. That's good. On, um, I like, uh, like the animation, like I said. It feels like that kind of like old school kind of john looney tunes feel to it i think it's just the color palette they're using too makes it pretty good too that's good. um color palettes are important and then stuff. uh yeah other than that uh yeah and even like daffy duck <laughs> it's pretty cool to see him be like that old school original kind of looney tune character because they're, they're making him really make uh be that kind of like ooh, ooh kind of like you know he always used to do that in the old school ones where he's just being really crazy and all, because in the after a while they kind of always get he used to get picked on from Bugs Bunny at one point, yeah. Um, so they kind of went back to that where Duck Daffy Duck's being the annoying one. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and he's always messing with uh, uh, what is it Pig? Por uh, po Porky. Porker. Yeah. Porky Pig. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they have had a couple episodes with them too, always just being uh together. So I haven't seen any episodes with him and Bugs Bunny though yet. I don't think. Hmm. They, uh, they like actually used to have so him and Porky in a bunch too, but it would just depend on the series and the time. Yeah. Uh, I but, think uh, we, yeah. I think we're good. getting close to the end of our time here today. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, was things. there any comics that you had said uh, that you were reading? Shoot. Uh, there was a couple. Once again, I was mostly catching up on anime and manga this week. But I mm -hmm. did read a couple things. I was catching up on some of the X-Men stuff, which was pretty good. Uh, pretty Violent came out. I was reading that one. Yeah, that was an interesting one. I was catching up on some of the Batman stuff to read Punchline stuff. You might like this one, The King of Nowhere. King of Nowhere. So there's that one. I've been checking out my book, Grumble. <laughs> With a little pug. Nice. Yeah, this has been pretty good. I really like this. This is from Albatross. Uh, funny Books, they're a new publisher. They're supposed to be getting a Tank Girl here soon. Hmm. So, that would be a good title for them. That's yeah. a pretty big title. So and then they have the goon. It's actually the the guy, the publisher, um, who I think his name's Eddie Powell, uh, from the goon. This is his uh, publishing company now. So the goons with them now. And um, other than that, I don't think there was anything else that I haven't really checked out any of the read. Just um, probably the Avengers. That uh, that was really it. Let me see. Hold on, real quick. I got a couple other things here. I think that's pretty much it. So there wasn't too many big titles this week, I feel like. Cat shit. We can talk about that one. Cat shit. <laughs> Here, I'll just show you the inside. It's it's uh, cute little furry animals in Vietnam War. Of course. <laughs> oh, you probably can't see it because no, it's, it's all... No, it's popping back and forth, yeah. There we go. That's there a little better. That's not too bad. Oh. Yeah. So that's yeah, it, I, it reminds one, me of the old uh, what's the mouse one that's they do comic of. Uh, oh, I wanted to read that one, the Unsacred or something like that. Or say, yeah, Squirrel Squirrelia or something. Yeah, I think I, I don't remember about. the name, but yeah, this is actually written as an anime too or a manga. Sorry. Uh, oh, so it's bad. And uh, yeah, well, not this one. I don't think. Oh. I think they re they did it intentionally the right way, but uh. I, but it was originally written from there, and then they finally made it into uh, uh, America or printed it over here. 
But other than that, not the oh, did you check out the Negan Lives? Yeah, I did. It was an interesting one. I thought it was a fun little. I mean, they'd already kind of discussed that he was still alive. Yeah, you know? we just didn't it was know cool was though, gone. just to kind of just bring that out. And I guess that Robert Kirkman did this as kind of like a surprise, and he actually gave a lot of the all these books for free. I think to all the the retailers. That's cool. And he said, you know, do what do whatever what you want with them. And he even gave them each store uh, two special versions. One was had the uh, silver foil on the name, and uh, I think. Yeah, and then the other one was the gold foil. Um, one of my comic stores is doing an auction right now. The silver's going for like 150, and then they have the gold going for like 200. Um, mm -hmm. Mile High Comics had the gold for like already at 250. Um, I mean, just like I said, everyone has to you know do whatever they want to do with uh, their copy. But yeah, he was just, it was just a way to support the the retailers. He said, so I thought that was awesome of him. Um, other than that, I think, like I said, just that's it. And then this book right here, Dark Red, I think is about is finished here. The vampire book. Okay. Well, if you yeah, check that one out. And then Backtrack. Um, the Goon came out. This other publisher company, I don't think you've checked out yet. They're called the Blaze. They just started, I think, uh, a couple months ago. But this is one of their books. <laughs> this is the kids. And it's a zombie book with uh so that's pretty cool. I've been liking this one as well. So if you want to check that one out, check out their stuff. I've been liking some of their books from Blaze. Um, I think that was pretty much it. And like I said, yeah, the Goon. I like to read the Goon now. <laughs> <laughs> this one's been a pretty fun read. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have to catch up on some of these other stuff though. Yeah, that's how I feel. I still have stuff I gotta catch up on on all sides. I gotta catch up on anime, manga, comics, books, just regular books. Yeah, everything, so, everything, it's, everything. It's always a big list of shit to do, but you know, <sighs> we'll get it done. Uh, so, having all right, then. said that, yeah, I think we'll finish off this episode. It was a pretty good one. We'll hopefully have a lot more stuff to talk about next week. Maybe they'll have some releases or something. They'll put a trailer out for once. Maybe the world will start spinning again at some point, you know. <laughs> but uh, until then, thanks everyone for watching. This has been Comic Convos with me and Izzy, and we'll catch you next week. Have a good one.